Do you know anybody who complains that they have a slow metabolism and how they barely eat anything but still gain weight? Or have you met people who can eat whatever they want due to their fast metabolism without gaining weight? It doesn't seem fair, does it? Well, in this video, we're going to be looking at three key questions about your metabolism, including what metabolism actually is, what the latest research into metabolism shows, and how you can use this information to hack your metabolism and boost your health. G'day, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the traveling scientist, currently living here in Lawn, Australia. And on this channel, we explore scientific techniques and ideas to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. So what is metabolism? Essentially, metabolism is a sum of the chemical reactions in your body that convert things that you consume, like food, water, and drugs, into energy for building, repairing, and maintaining your body. Or to put it simply, metabolism is how fast your body uses energy. A high metabolic rate means faster energy usage, while a slow metabolic rate means slower energy usage. And your metabolic rate is determined by a combination of factors, including your genetics, and you should have a similar metabolic rate to your parents and your siblings, your body size, because a bigger body requires more energy to keep it running, your age, which we'll talk about in a moment, your muscle stores, because muscles burn more energy, and your fat stores, because fat burns less energy. Now you know how metabolism works, I want to tell you a little story about how when I was growing up, I would always eat a lot, you know? I always had seconds of dinner, I loved to eat dessert, especially chocolate, but all the adults would tell me, Jesse, when you grow up, your metabolism will slow down and you're gonna get overweight if you eat like that. So when I grew up and became an adult, you know, I kept eating a lot and they said, well, one day soon your metabolism's gonna slow down. I'm 28 now. I've always eaten a lot and I haven't gained or lost a kilo in the last 10 years. And so it's like my metabolism didn't slow down, but everybody else's did or did it. This question was answered for me by a research article that came out just recently. The article titled Daily Energy Expenditure Through the Human Life Course came out in August of 2021. It included 6,421 subjects, both male and female, ranging from just eight days young to up to 95 years old. They measured the subject's energy levels and determined that there are four main stages of metabolism in life. From newborn to age one, calorie burning is at its peak, about 50% above the adult rate. Then from one year to 20 years old, metabolism gradually slows down around 3% per year. And from age 20 to age 60, which is probably a majority of people watching this video, your metabolism does not change. And after 60, your metabolism declines by about 0.7% per year. What this means is that when you're born, your metabolism is at its highest and you're using as much energy as possible to you know, create a functional human being. Then your metabolism gradually slows down through your childhood and teenage years. And around the age of 20, your metabolism stops changing and it doesn't change for about 40 years. So if someone in their 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s starts to gain weight, they can't blame it on their metabolism because their metabolism hasn't changed. It's far more likely that there's been a change in lifestyle factors like less physical activity or more eating of unhealthy foods. So now that you know about the four lifelong stages of metabolism, how can you use this information to boost your metabolism? Now I've actually made a video specifically about how we burn fat and it's super interesting we actually breathe it out of our lungs. You can learn all about that just in this video here. But essentially, if you want to lose weight, you need to boost your metabolism. And I know I said that your metabolism doesn't change between when you're 20 and 60, but there are certain ways that you can increase it slightly to promote weight loss. The first and best thing you can do to boost your metabolism is strength training, which is gonna promote muscle growth. Remember, muscle cells burn more energy than fat cells. So by building your muscles, you're gonna increase the amount of energy that your body uses up every day. And this increased muscle and energy usage is gonna reduce levels of fat and help you to lose weight. The next best thing you can do for your metabolism is to maintain a healthy diet. The balanced diet of whole foods like fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and whole grains is a great way to keep your metabolic rate high and burning excess energy to prevent fat storage and promote weight loss. And finally, you can also use green tea for a little extra boost in your metabolism that's gonna help you lose a little bit more weight. 
and there's actually many scientific studies that support the link between green tea and increased metabolism. I actually made a video all about it. You can check that out just up here as well. But the key takeaway for this video is that your basal metabolic rate does not change through adulthood. If you're gaining weight in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, it's not because of your genes and it's not because of your metabolism. It's probably because of lifestyle factors that are totally within your control. And I just hope that the new research and this video can help inspire people to live a more active lifestyle, eat a nice healthy diet, and take control of their health and their lives. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about metabolism, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.